Welcome to the enchanting town of Eldridge, where the clock tower stands tall, a sentinel of time. Its brass and copper embellishments glint in the afternoon sun, casting a warm glow over the town square. The air is filled with the sweet aroma of pastries from the nearby bakery, mingling with the scent of oil and steam from the clock tower. This is a place where history and mystery intertwine, where the past whispers its secrets through the chimes of the clock. Join us as we delve into the story of Alara Hawthorne, a young woman drawn to the tower by a connection that transcends mere fascination. This is chapter one of our tale, where the past calls out, and Alara is ready to answer. Alara Hawthorne stood at the edge of the square, her bright green eyes reflecting the kaleidoscope of colors from the stained glass face of the clock tower. Her heart raced as the clock struck for the first time that day, each chime resonating within her, awakening something long dormant in her soul. The townsfolk paused, their conversations fading into a hushed reverence. Alara felt a pull towards the clock tower, a connection that felt alive today. With a determined stride, she approached the tower, her chestnut hair dancing in the breeze. The intricate mechanisms of the clock tower revealed themselves, a labyrinth of gears and cogs whispering secrets of the past. It was here that Alara encountered Mr. Thaddeus Grimble, her mentor and the town's eccentric clockmaker. His silver hair glinted like the polished brass of his creations, and his eyes twinkled with a knowing light. Ah, Alara, Mr. Grimble exclaimed. You've come to explore the mysteries of the tower, I see. Alara nodded, her heart pounding with anticipation. Mr. Grimble leaned closer to Alara, his voice dropping to a conspiratorial whisper. This tower is not merely a keeper of time. It is a bridge to the spirits of our past. Each chime awakens them, and they have stories to tell. As Alara listened, the air around them seemed to shimmer with energy, the very fabric of reality bending to the weight of unspoken histories. Yet, outside the sanctuary of the clock tower, the townsfolk began to murmur, their voices tinged with unease. Mayor Reginald Pritchard, a stout man with a furrowed brow, stood at the center of the square, his skepticism palpable. Strange occurrences have been reported, and I will not have our town disrupted by tales of ghosts and spirits. Alara felt a chill run down her spine, the tension in the air thickening like fog. She glanced at Mr. Grimble, who regarded her with a knowing look, as if sensing the storm brewing beyond the tower's walls. It was then that Alara realized her connection to the spirits was not merely a curiosity. It was a calling. As the chapter drew to a close, Alara gathered her friends. Finn O'Malley and Luna Reyes, their faces alight with excitement and trepidation. Together, they would embark on a quest to uncover the truth behind the spirits awakened by the clock tower's chimes. The weight of her family's legacy pressed upon Alara, but within her, a flicker of determination ignited. The past was calling, and she was ready to answer. With her friends by her side, Alara felt a sense of purpose and resolve. The journey ahead would be filled with challenges and discoveries, but she knew that they were ready to face whatever lay ahead. The spirits of Eldridge had stories to tell, and Alara was determined to listen.